And at this time every Wednesday morning, it's time to get in touch. It's Wednesdays with Wagle. Dr. Jason Wagle with Kansas Perio and Dental Implants, and we'll be talking today about oral health and medical health. And at this time, welcome Dr. Wagle. Good morning, Chad. How are you doing? Good. Good to talk to you here on this Wednesday. And uh, we mentioned oral health, medical health. Tell us about the relationships between uh, maybe gum disease and overall health. Uh, Ted, the American Academy of Periodontology often uses the term healthy mouth, healthy body. Oral health and general health are closely related. How closely? Give us maybe some examples. Well, there's an established relationship between gum disease and and diabetes that goes both ways, for example. Periodontal disease or gum disease may make it more difficult for people to control their blood sugar, and people with diabetes are at more risk for periodontal disease. And what are the consequences of that? Well, severe periodontal disease can increase a person's blood sugar for extended periods of time. That puts people with diabetes at an increased risk for diabetic complications. And what about other diseases? Um, According to uh, Harvard University's medical school, people with gum disease have two to three times the risk of having a serious cardiovascular event, such as a heart attack or stroke. However, how these two diseases are related is still being researched. So when you have something like that going on, what is the relationship on some of those things, maybe with the cause and effect on what we're talking about? Well, Ted, heart disease and gum disease have shared risk factors, such as poor diet and smoking, which Mm -hmm. could be a common link. However, there is a growing suspicion that the gum disease may be an independent risk factor for heart disease. Again, uh, more research is needed. A lot of things to think about. What are some of the other like medical mm-hmm. dental connections that you can talk According about? According to the American Heart Association, gum disease appears to increase blood pressure, and it can interfere with the treatment for high blood pressure, also called hypertension. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's, what's behind that? Are there any theories behind these connections between all this? The main theory is that bacteria, Bacteria causes um, uh, an inflammatory reaction in the body, and inflammation is a common threat associated with many of these diseases. Right. So what's the best course of action for someone that wants to uh, stay away from all this? Ted, regular medical and dental dental checkups are highly advised. On the homepage of our website at kansasperio.com, we have a self-assessment tool that helps people find out if they may be at risk for gum disease. That's important for your oral health and your general health. Yep, sure is. And there's a, as we, as we always talk about everything, there's a lot of things that are connected when it comes to your health. So make sure you don't let something uh, slip by. I agree. Just think it's important to see your physician and your dentist regularly if you can. Sounds good. Dr. Wagle, thanks for checking in with us here on a Wednesday morning. Have a great day. Thank you. That is Wednesdays with Wagle. It's a weekly feature right here with Steve and Ted. Wednesdays with Wagle, sponsored by Kansas Perio and Dental Implants. When it's time to get serious about your smile, go to kansasperio.com. It's P-E-R-I-O, kansasperio.com.